Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me. I just wanted to share with you my completed um, accordion style envelope journal that I've made. Um, I made a previous one and this is a carry on of my previous couple of videos. So I just thought I'd show you it completed. It has turned out to be quite chunky. I don't know if you can see this. So it is quite chunky. The papers that I've used are from Amy, Crafty Cat USA, and they're her winter kits. I think she's got three kits and I've used bits and pieces of all of them throughout this. Um, my previous, I think it's three videos, show me starting and, and working on this journal. And it's one that you actually don't have to have a front and a back um, to it. So I think in my previous videos, I'd said where the inspiration came for this. And that was Rachel at Roxy's Creations and um, Leslie at Willow House Journals. Um, so this, it will actually open and lay flat. It will all pull out. So that's why I call it a concertina one. It sort of kind of all pulls out. So we'll take a quick flip through it. So I used envelopes. And if you look at my previous videos, you'll see that. The front one, I've used the Tim Holtz Winter People that I had last year. And I've put, um, I just need to stitch that. There's always one card that I forget to stitch. And I think it was this one. So Amy's cards I've decorated. Um, I Start again. Amy's journaling cards, I've extended a few. So I will stitch that. I'm going to leave that out to remind myself. Tim Holtz people and then that flips open so you can either write on there or put a photo or something. And then her paper there. That's a tall pocket. And then that's one of the papers that I've cut down to make a journaling card. There are over 160 pages in this one. So it is, it is quite big. And I suppose size wise, what is it size wise? That's about four and a quarter wide and my rule is eight. So it's just over eight and a half. So coming up for eight and three quarters tall. So that's just the size of the envelopes that I used. Then when you open it inside, we've got the first um, journal part, if you like. Lovely little skier there in the snowman. Move over a bit. So I've put a fabric tab on there. I've tried to keep it as unbulky as I can. A journaling card there. These other images that I've used, this one and this one, and a few of the others are from Mrs. Cog's um, vintage skate kit. So it's just a pocket just there. That one flips out. And I've just decorated that page there. These little numbers, they're from Amy's Bingo kit. So you can still write on this paper and on this one. There's a little journaling card there that came with the kit. And then I've left that open so that you could write on that or stick something on it if you wanted to. So I've really enjoyed this. Um, I'm finding at the moment there's so much going on in my head that I'm struggling a little bit to, um, to do any crafting. And then that's flipping out there, look. So you've got lots and lots of room to journal. And then there's some beads on that bit. Um, I'm trying to sort my mum out. She's going in hospital in a few weeks to have a knee replaced. And it's a replacement knee of a previous replacement knee. So my mum's 86, so I'm a bit concerned for her. Um, so I'm going to have to go over and look after her for a while. So there's lots of papers on there. And you can write these... Um, crocheted style papers are from tailor-made journals um, and I, I, I use them quite a lot and then that's vellum that I've copied on and that one flips out so you can see there's lots and lots of room to journal that's two little cards that I've joined together and flips out you can write on it or put something or you could close it as a pocket if you wanted to and then that flips out I love this image that Amy's got in her kit of all these vintage skaters which is fun they were enjoying themselves back in the day then this yeah so these two are the two envelopes on the front and then this is the big window envelope so if we open that there's another journal just there and a little journaling card in that bit there and those little um toboggan toboggan sledge little clip there some fabric 
little Tim Holtz, and that says each snowflake holds a story of what it used to be. And then that flips out. I just fussy cut those. Um, I name is Kit. She has a couple of fussy cut little people, so I just fuss fussy cut them out and stuck them on there pocket there that comes with the kit and then that's one of Mrs Cog's images that I've put on Amy's paper because I just thought it looked as if they were all skiing together and then there's a little journaling card there again I think that again that's one of Mrs Cog's images that's one of Amy's that I've cut in half and I've just stuck a little piece of paper that I had left over that you can write on in there that flips out these kids they have got such happy faces haven't they that's one of the um i was gifted that somebody put, sent it to me in happy mail the um what do you call it a slide it's a die cut of a slide and then i've just put some paper and some snowflakes in it and it says if you listen carefully the silence is beautiful and on a winter's day it is when you can just hear the snow falling and there's lovely people there ice skating Another vellum page there, and a doily. Then that flips up and there's a journaling card in there. So it, it's quite big, but you can see, you know, when you open it, it does lay flat. And as I say, you could actually extend it all the way out if you wanted to. But just remember how it folds back up if you do that. <laughs> so then there's a little paper clip that in and then that's just some extra journaling space there that lovely image there he's got a cushion on his bum so that if he, if he falls over he doesn't get hurt and again there's some beads in there and then that just flips out and I know this is dark but you can either close it as a pocket or you can um, put an image on it if you wanted to and or some paper and journal on it that flips out so I don't know what crafting I'm going to be able to do over the next few weeks. Um, I have to say, I, I feel at the moment with everything that's going on at home and in the world, I feel like my head's a bit of a shed. Uh, yeah, that flips out there. More writing space. And then I've got some of the leaf trim there and I've just sewn some sequins on it. So I don't know if you can see, but they do kind of shine. But I don't know if the camera will pick that up. So just some sequins. And then another little pocket. That's the other half of the other image there. And that opens up. Just a little pocket. And then again, one of the images. This is Amy's papers. And I think that one's Amy's paper as well. And then there's just a little glassine bag there with one of her images I do find glassine bags are quite delicate and I've run it through the um, embosser and there's little snowflakes on that I don't know if you can see them or not and that flips out then this is the back of those envelopes and it opens so there's a an image just there so you could write on that or stick something on and then that flips out there and again we've got that little image of the little girl with the dog got a journaling card there and it says in the depths of winter I finally learned that within me they lay an invincible summer there's a little pocket just there and there's a tag at the top there and I just fussy cut that lady out and made a tag out of her sorry just leaning to make sure I can see where I'm putting her back in the pocket then we've got a pocket here some more of the Tim Holtz people and then I've just put that photo from Amy's kit on there and just layered up some papers that I had left over. It fits in there. And then with this little girl, that opens that way. And then this is just some writing paper. So bits and pieces of paper that I've had left. I haven't decorated it. I've just le left that for purely writing space because you can write on all of the papers in here. And then there's some beads on that one as well probably can't see those just some little blue beads on the bottom so that folds in and it folds in and then that folds over and then you're at the back of the book or if you wanted it to be the front of the book because it opens both ways that's why I thought it was more of an accordion style another journaling card just there 
and again the Tim Holtz people just there and then another journaling card up there I don't know if I can see to put that one in or not let's have a go there we go and then that opens up and we can write on this if we want and then we've got another journal here so all together there's five journals and I think I said there's about 168 pages I did count them yeah 168 and that doesn't include those that flip out so that's front and back counting this is just book page that I photocopied on A little journaling card there that says winter those boys they're covered in snow they'll be frozen won't they and there's a little tuck spot just here and the little images there from Amy some more um can't think what you call it <laughs> vellum it's not vellum it's tracing paper and then that pulls out like that so that you can write on that and again you can lay this flat because it will open so you can lay it flat to write on just remember how it folds <laughs> and then it opens that way as well little doily you've got a tag just there so yeah if, if whoever gets this just remember get it in your head how it how it folds and refolds because I have to say it's confused me even though I've made it a few times when I've been trying to put it back together so it's not too bad really sorry am I dropping out of there you can write on that again this piece of paper unfolds so you've got lots of writing space there and it just folds up again and that image again of those boys it flips out so you can see this is really is a writing journal a little fabric snip on there that's a little pocket and that's the image that I cut on those other tall pockets to make the little pockets that flips out one of Mrs Cog's images there and then we're at the window envelope there and it says kindness is like snow it beautifies everything it covers and that lovely little girl there and then that opens like so and we've got that pocket there and I think we made this together so another journaling card just there that goes in there so we did decorate this and then this is the last um, journal pages in here so again another fabric snip just there one of Amy's CD cases that I've um, I think I did two to a page I might have done four to a page I can't remember now and then I've just put one of the images beside it inside it and it is a little pocket I've probably glued that in <laughs> it's just a tight fit a tight fit and then that's just some extra paper there so it does it does fit in honest folks it's just a bit of a squeeze that's in there I decorated that top piece there so it's nice to have it's a bit of a hidden journaling spot I think inside there that comes out there's a top tuck so that pulls that comes down so you can write on that and then I've just added some extra bits of paper that I had left over on there so they can either be used to further decorate it or or um, write on. Um, I'm trying to think how what I did. I just ran that through a piece of paper through the um, photocopier. And then it's there as well. So this is the kind of pocket. It's the little pocket there, same as in the other one. Sorry, I lost my chain of thought then. So that fits in there. And then again, I've cut down one of Amy's digital pages and then I've just fussy cut those lovely ladies there because they're all skating. I think those two are watching these ladies having fun. And Jack Frost. Piece of tracing paper. And then on the back, because it's the same image, but 
I couldn't waste it. It had to be made into a journaling card because she is so just so cute. And some of this paper I've, I've sprayed and it's a little bit, it must have had um, some glitter, shiny bits in it because it, it does have a bit of a shimmer to it. And then this one again, it pulls out and over flaps there. And then in the middle, there's a journaling card there that's got extra paper on it. And then the children that have made the snowmen and that's a pocket, I've sealed that sealed it is that the right word and again we've got beads there and then that one flips out but again you could glue across there and close it and have it as a tuck spot if you wanted to that flips out so you can see there's lots and lots those lovely ladies there look skiing she must trust a friend to hold her look while she skis skis skates that flips out and again that's the lady that I fussy cut for that other tag that I made and again the um, leaf trim there with sequins on and then there's another little pocket there with some extra paper in and this this guy with his sledge is really wrapped up for winter and he's got a mattress on his sledge so he must be planning to to go a long way I think The, these papers actually are from, um, there's no naughty words in it because it's from a Sherlock Holmes book. Um, it says Sherlock Holmes there, so they're both from Sherlock Holmes books. So I thought I was safe using those. Some extra journaling space there. And then that tips down there. More writing space. And that opens out. And then this is the pocket that's the back of that big envelope that we made into a pocket. And inside that, I've just included some little bits and pieces so that whoever has it can carry on and decorate it further if they want to. So these are just bits and pieces that I've had left and I've just included them. So they're just tucked in there. And then that's that page that I had left over. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. So I've just put them in that big pocket. So there we go. I love it. I've really enjoyed making it. Um, I am going to put this in my Etsy store if anybody's interested. I'll just go and stitch down there because I just forgot to do it, didn't I? So I hope that you've enjoyed the videos that I did making this. Um, I will try and do a few videos over the next um, few weeks. But um, things are just a bit up in the air for me at the moment, I feel. So it may not be big projects that I'm doing, but I will catch up later, I promise. So take care, everybody, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, all.